Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Friday, the 7th of July 2017, and I am joined by the lovely Rukaya. We are in Covent Garden, you can probably see a bit of Covent Garden, you probably can't, we're by Covent Garden Station. Um, it's currently about maybe quarter to six. Oh, is it the wrong way? We need way? to cut down the street. Oh, okay, we'll find a way. Basically, we are currently off um, on our way to Nando's. On Chando's, is it street or place? Chando, Ch I might be place actually. There's a, Chan there's a, Na there's a Nando's, Nando's near Covent Garden on a street called Chando's Place or Strat Chando's Street, which is hilarious. The first time I discovered it a few years ago, I was like, this is the best thing ever. They must have been on purpose. Um, we're off to actually meet a fellow YouTuber, Charlotte, Little Miss Chickass, you probably know her. Um, she is here in London randomly. It's a hilarious story behind that. I'm just going to follow Rakaia because she knows the way, hopefully. Anyway, um, we'll talk about that a bit more, but very excited for food and we are off to go and see Beautiful, the Carol King musical later as well, which we kind of kindly dated for this morning. Thank you so did, much. I did, I um, Very excited to see that show, we'll talk about all of that later when we get to theatre, but all I can think about right now is food. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just obviously as always come along on the journey and it should be a good day. This is the Nando's the that we're talking Nando's. about on Chandos. Oh, where is the... It's Chandos place actually, you can see it there. Over there, there's a Chandler situation, you probably can't. Rukai's already gone in, Charlotte's already inside, so we're gonna go and join her. So I am here now, in Nando's, with my apple juice, and a Charlotte. Hello. Oh, hi. What happened today, Charlotte? Um, so I went to a meeting with work, I'm in London with work, and I'm walking down the street in my bus, minding my own business, like this, and I hear, Charlotte! <laughs> it wasn't quite like that. And I'm like, <laughs> That was literally your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that was actually her. And it was, we had, there was a moment of like, what happened? Oh, that's mine, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Food has arrived very quickly. This is amazing service. Well done. I'm excited. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm walking down the street and I hear Sam shout me. And then I'm like, I'm just going to a meeting. <laughs> And my boss is like, you're so rude. Like you, and I was like, oh my god, was I? As I text her, I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so rude. <laughs> she wasn't rude. I found it hilarious because I was, always, I was, I was on my phone to be honest. I was confused. I thought I was dreaming. Well, that's it. You were on your phone. Yeah. Like, you were on your phone, so I was just like, I'll oh, see yeah. you later. <laughs> and that was the way as well. I wasn't sure if you even realised who I was for a second. I was like, it, wait, anyway, it was a hilarious situation. Now we've ended up having food together. Lovely. What have you gone for? I've gone for a chicken oh, pizza, yeah, spicy rice, yeah, and chips. This is the Nando special. This is the oh, Charlotte Nando special. This I is what you normally I go for. Deviate from this. <laughs> I, I think, don't. Okay. No. Okay. But you go for medium. I'm kind of proud of you, Charlotte. You know, like I can never do. I go for plain. I can't even do lemon and herb. I'm, I'm working my way up to the top. It's taken me about 15 years. <laughs> Good. Well, well, she'll, I'm sure you'll find out the way. Me. You went to the toilet, Carlo. Yeah, Where are the napkins? I'm gonna. I'm joking. I love yeah. this girl. <laughs> so, um, we're waiting for our food still. I have gone for a plain burger and chips. You'll see it when it comes. I'm very hot still, but looking forward to life. Charlotte won't be coming to theatre tonight, unfortunately. <laughs> But it's okay. The whole thing isn't quite a random nice surprise, so yeah, nice. we'll go with it that way. Yeah. And I think as well because we've never like we've never met in person. We've never so met in to be like that that and, first meeting. I'll never, forget, I'll, never, I'll never forget that. That's the thing. It's gonna be one of those things that I'll always remember. But in years to come, like that was the first uh, in person meeting. My food has arrived as well now guys. It's lovely. Chicken burger with cheese, completely plain, garlic bread, chips, it's very blurry. Heart fest. I love it. <laughs> yeah, literally, honestly. I love the garlic breads here are amazing yeah, though. I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah happy. exactly. Nando's is always so fake. Whatever you get, isn't it? It's just like you've gone for a nice little chicken burger, salami, chips. Lovely. And so nice. I'm gonna eat now because all I want right now in my life is food. So bye for now. So food was lovely. Um I we just left Nando's. It's currently a quarter to seven. I have left both Charlotte and Rakaya very briefly. Well Charlotte's gone back to Birmingham, um, she's got a train to catch. Rukai's going to the theatre, the Aldridge Theatre, where we're seeing the show tonight, beautiful. And I'm in Covent Garden, I'm trying to get to work where I work, where I lock the house, very quickly, because I need to do something very quickly at work, preferably today. If I can't get there today, if I don't have time and I have to run to the Old Witch, I'll just come back tomorrow morning. But I'm hoping that I can do this thing today um, before the show. I've got 45 minutes, and it probably takes like Maybe six minutes from here to the old witch, from the run up to the old witch. So, fingers crossed it should work. Food was great. 
ate a lot, I'm really full now. Um, also, this bag, we've kind of seen it, the whole day pretty much. I just didn't really know how to hide it, because <laughs> it didn't fit anywhere in any of my backpacks or anything. But it's, it was her birthday a few, a few days ago, I was about to say a few years ago. A few days ago was Rakai's birthday. So I've got a little present for her, um, and I'm probably going to give it to her in between shows. I don't think she's like, guessed that it's hers yet. It's also one of my other friends' birthdays recently, like it was her birthday. Another friend of mine, Shurika, you all know Shurika, it's her birthday ye um, yesterday. And so she thinks like these are for her rather than for herself. That did not make sense. Anyway guys, let me see if I can get to work because I'll talk to you after. So I've made it to work now and I've got my balloon. Um, probably not going to have time to do everything I want today. But I'm going to try for the best. And as you can see, I'm next to the situation here. So that's what's happening. You are right. Yeah. Oh, you're doing like a little... Vlog. Vlog, yes. Is that right? I'm <laughs> um, so you're not going crazy. No, no. I just like talking to myself sometimes. So at least I've got one balloon. I'm probably not going to have time to do everything I wanted because the show starts like in half an hour. But at least that's a bit of progress. So I'm happy. I'm going to literally have to leave in like a minute. Someone please open the electrics to guard the upstairs of the park and the scene change. Technical staff and prop staff to strike the centre staff and for the scene change upstage. And calling wardrobe staff for Miss Bolovko's exit of stage OP and for Miss Shiki's cloak change on OP. Thank you. Right, so guys, I actually managed to do three balloons in the short time that I had. I'm very proud of myself. Bye. <laughs> do you want to say hi? <laughs> you can. <laughs> all right, well, you, you're you in it very briefly. Um, so yeah, I need to go now. Um, all the balloons are here, so I can come early and do it. The rest tomorrow, you probably, it won't be in the vlog. So if you want to find out what happened to that, follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. Sam for God on both. One with zero, one with zero. Right, see you in the theatre. So I have now left work, <laughs> the Royal Opera House. Um, I, I'm happy that I got to go even for like 5-10 minutes just to do a couple of balloons because it will save me time for tomorrow. Um, anyway, um, I'm on my way to the Aldrich Theatre now, where Beautiful is at. Rakaia's already there because she wanted to take some like nice videos and stuff at the theatre. Um, well, the reason I'm very excited actually about seeing Beautiful again tonight, I haven't seen it since it opened. But, like, I think I saw one of the first... I don't think it was a preview, but it was definitely in its first month or two of being in London, I'm pretty sure. Because I saw the original um, person in it, I think Katie Bryden. It's her surname she got, she won in Olympia that year, and she was phenomenal. But um, the current cast I've not seen at all, and Cassidy Jansen replaced uh, Katie, I think about a year and a half ago or something. And I, I love Cassidy Jansen, I've seen her in quite a few shows before, saw her in Avenue Q, that, that's when I first discovered her, back in 2010, and I thought she was incredible, and I've seen her in concert. She is a phenomenal performer, um, and I think I saw her in Lend, Lend Me a Tenor as well. I've, I've seen her in quite a few different things, to be fair. And um, I can imagine her being incredible in this part as well, in Beautiful. So I really want to see her um, in the show. And I want to see the show again one more time before it finishes next uh, month as well. So, but yeah, the main reason for me to go back at the moment is just seeing Cassie Jansen again on stage because I know she'll be phenomenal. I mean, Katie was fantastic. That's why she won Olivia. But I just know that Cassie will also be incredible, like in a different way, I'm sure. So, really looking forward to it. Just walking past the Novella Theatre on my way to the Aldrich Theatre. Um, Novella's the home of Mamma Mia the musical, which is one of my favourite shows just because of how fun it is. Um, I mean, I, it's not the best musical by any means, but I love Abba's music and I love the cast in it at the moment, even though I've not seen them. But I used to love the cast before as well. It's just a good show because it's really fun. So I'm seeing that next, not next month, in a few weeks actually. Also, this is a very cool tree, look at that. Can you see that? They've got tennis balls attached to it for some reason. Anyway, the beautiful theatre, the Cowkin musical, beautiful. Um, the Aldrich Theatre is just in front of me as you can probably see. I've not been to the theatre in uh, two years, two or three years. I mean, the last time I was here was to see the beautiful show, beautiful musical show when it first opened. So it's been a while. Looking forward to going again. It does say there, final weeks must end on the 5th of August. So less than a month really. Today's the 7th of um, July. So yeah, less than a month until it finishes. I wonder if Rakai is going to be around here, or she, she's, she must have probably been around here, she's not going to end with, without me, because it's still, what's the time guys, let's have a look. 10 past 7, so I've done really well. This is Cassie Jansen by the way, if you'd like to have a kind of idea of what she looks like, this is her, she is honestly one of the best performers I've seen on stage, so genuinely very excited about seeing her portrayal in the show.
by Rakai now. It's only quarter past seven. You said rejoin. You've rejoined me. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've rejoined Rakai now. This is actually a bit as well. Okay, yeah, I was that when I got in. I was like, I forgot how nice it is. It's been so long. I've, I've been, I've not been here since two, in two, two, two and a half years, I think. But I love that little round bit up there. I don't know if they can, they can, can they see it? Yeah. Okay, the, the, the speed yeah. over there. The cast over there, I'm going to show it to you very quickly. Oh, I think, well, that's the merch, that's the merch bit. That's They've got, that is really cool. They've got all the merch, I mean. <laughs> they did, you saw a bit of it. Sam, you got a spare? I've got a spare one, yeah. Okay. Lovely. Well, there's some merch bits over there as well, which I'll try and show you afterwards. We're going to get, hopefully, some programs and maybe a magnet for Rakaia. Um, but yeah, it is Cassie Johnson today, which was my main thing. It's incredibly hot. Yeah, it's incredibly hot. Oh, there you go. So, there you go. You've got the car. So, you've got the phenomenal Cassie Johnson as Carol King. Ma I, oh, I, I think I saw Matthew Cedar Young as um, Tony in Billy Elliot. Oh, yeah, you might have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see, Billy Elliot. Yeah, I'm pretty, in the, the, ring, the name rings a bell. Georgie Ashford, I've seen in um, Legally Blonde. I know Ian McIntosh, I recognise. I don't recognise the other ones, though, but I'm sure it's going to be a good. I was singing in the ring. Oh, yeah, it yeah. does not. Now it rings a bell. I'm yeah. trying to figure out if any of the ensemble, but I mean, it's going to be a good cast nonetheless. I just, I just need to be a bit. Let's sit down. Let's air Yeah, you look at my situation. Like, it's ridiculous. I need to put some. Down. Okay, yeah, we're going to go inside now, guys. The show is about to start. I've just managed to get me and Rakaya two bottles of water because we need it. The stage over here. It's very excited. Um, oh my god, it's just really right. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna go and join Rakaia. We're in room A, which is so exciting. <laughs> Somehow I made it into my seat. Oh, oh they're incredible seats. Thank you so much. Yeah, like legit. Sorry. Oh my god. So, well, the first, the only time I've seen um, this before, I was I think in the dress circle, one of the yeah. side seats in the, kind of the, over there. I was in the dress circle on the other side. Oh really? Yeah. I think I was on the roof. I mean, it was good, but obviously this is a toilet. I am. I'm so hot. I'm dying. Can you just like? Also, I love the bottles of water here because look, they've got they've got old wishes and beautiful on them. Uh, it's incredible. This is our view anyway. Literally, I am like I cannot wait for this situation. We literally should have because you've got a backpack. I've got this. Um, but yeah, we are gonna speak to you, I guess, after the interval. I mean, yeah, in the interval. In the interval. There you go. We, if if we still alive, because I might have melted by then. Who knows? This is gonna help me. But yeah, very excited. Right. See you soon, guys. It is the interval now, guys. Hello. It's nice to be out of people. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to go outside. It's, very warm, it's incredibly hot. But how are you enjoying it so far? Oh my god, I think I just like scraped off with two makeup on. Oh, sorry. Um, no, I'm really enjoying it, apart from the lady singing. Behind There's us. somebody behind us who sings loudly. We don't really want to hear her. But Cassie is phenomenal. Oh, oh, I've guys, forgotten how great she is as a performer. Yeah. And the whole cast is amazing. And I just, so and I love how slick this production is. Yes, I a, like the set design. I love the set design. It's an amazing so. shot. I'm so glad we came. Yes, yeah, like, and the view honestly makes a difference. I mean, I'm probably going to see it on the UK tour as well. To be fair, like I might even try and come back before it closes. My I, dad I would love you. this. Like oh, yeah. he loves that kind of this style of music. Yeah, no, um, and yeah, oh, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> there you go. And now we're just waiting to get some uh, merchandise, like a program. They've got some mugs. Hello, can we get two programs, please? Two magnets and a key ring? Oh, they've got like a Christmas ornament. Is that a Christmas ornament? Yeah. That's really cute. cute. And they've got some t shirts, and yeah, that's it. We're gonna go for two programs. It's honestly so good to be outside, guys, even just for a little bit to get a bit of a breeze. Um, and I just love this theatre in its yellow glory with the, the beautiful sign over there. And the, it's, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm not sure what's coming actually into the theatre after Beautiful Ends next month. Leave comments down below if you do know. Um, but hopefully it'll be something good. Beautiful's had a really good run to be fair. I'm pretty sure the first time I saw the show was 2014. Um, like in like the beginning of it. I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure it was like three years ago and I was here with my friend Matt so shout out to Matt if you're watching Matt. Awful, isn't it? Oh what's happened? Oh my god you literally gave me a bit of a heart attack. Totally the motorbike driver's fault. Oh um, really? The car was well the car was going into that lane and yeah. waiting and then the driver the motorbike just cut across. So sorry but if you're a motorbike driver and you're not driving carefully you're gonna get hit. So. I enjoy Rakai's rods. <laughs> But um, isn't this, I was always so angry about it. Isn't everything. it beautiful, this theatre? It's in lovely. Yellow glory. I, love, I love it. Yeah, no, it, it, I love how it says like quite clearly of the theatre. Yeah, because a lot of theatres don't when you no. about it. No, like. oh, so, in fact, um, random story for yeah. you. Some American lady came to the Opera House, yeah. Royal Opera House yesterday, yeah. and they were like, oh, is there anywhere outside of the that says at Royal Opera House? So we want a picture. Uh, there isn't. Yeah, there is. We have the flag. The sugar plum. <laughs> the sugar, sugar um, plum. We have the flag, the red flag. There is also a sort of, I don't know what the word is, but there's a thing on a wall somewhere. Uh, around the corner by Drury Lane, I think I saw it earlier. Oh, no, but like, 
like not in the main entrance no, of it. No, like no, where not you come in front. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I get what she means, yeah. Which is, I don't, like, this, this is amazing. Yeah, that's no, I like the Colour Victoria as well, which is your favourite yeah. thing, so we've now. Victoria, like, I give it's directions to customer work. I'm going to Victoria Station, go outside, you can't miss it. If you miss it, you're stupid. <laughs> 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 like, I just don't know how you could. Anyway, guys, um, we've got our, well, we've got our programmes and stuff here. Yeah. I've also got a present for Okaya, because it was her birthday a few days ago. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. You've probably seen this either because I've been carrying Would you mind taking it from me? You're going to have so much stuff with you now, sorry. The show is about to be commenced. This foyer area is getting empty and empty because we're going back in. Um, not looking forward to going back to that hot auditorium. Need some leaf next, I might stop. We've just, uh, well, Kai just checked in a couple of things into the coke room, which is lovely. Oh, look, this came out quite nice, isn't it? No, you've got to look at my Instagram. I was going to say, if you, I was literally about to say, if you want to follow, um, Kai's got like two Instagrams, a new one, where she puts um, artsy Insta, what's it called? Instax. Instax, so you should definitely follow her. We are now back in this beautiful auditorium. This is honestly, the oldest is a beautiful theatre. I didn't realise how beautiful, because I'd forgotten it, because I don't come here often, but it is honestly gorgeous. Like, I'm excited to come back to the theatre, whatever show comes in next. But anyway, this is the view again. I cannot get over our view. We're on row A, which is actually the third row. And it's good because the front row is incredibly close to the stage. So this is like, this. we are literally, I think we have the best seats in the house. We're right in the middle as well. So that is it. I am going to enjoy another hour or something of the heat inside here. But I'm going to enjoy the performance because they are incredible. Like, honestly, kudos to them for performing in this heat. Like, with the lights up and everything. I would not be able to do it. We'll talk about it all later. But yeah, see you after the second act. Again, <laughs> thank the Lord. Well, not cold, but We're just a bit air. cooler, but it was incredible. That's the theatre over there, as you can see, Great. with the logo. Honestly, such a good show. I, I'm so glad to see it again. Oh, yeah, we're finally about to open this uh, her present situation Yay! with all her bags. And oh Lord, have mercy! Simba. Oh my God, this part's so cute. Oh. I didn't have cake for breakfast, but I will make. Oh my gosh, we didn't have chocolate today. Uh, well, we did. We had, well, I tend I had a chocolate thing. Yeah, yeah, true. Today's World Chocolate Day, the day that we um, here, are here. Um, I mean, you don't have to read that, it's fine, you can read that later. Uh, uh, we've done well with our resolution. We've been having, I'm really happy. I think we might have missed one month, but that's because you're away. Yeah, that was a so legit away most of that. We made up for it since. Okay. I feel like Elphaba, guys. It's really hard to do everything with one month. Can we pause somewhere yeah. for you? Like, I don't know how you can see that. I just want to see what the tradition is. <laughs> Did the, you have to open the whole thing? I do this. Why? Well, because I need to know what's inside. Oh, you, don't know that? you haven't given me a picture of it. Well, yeah, but I don't know what it is. You haven't seen it. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
So like today I had, when Makai got the ticket, she came to mine. I was like, oh thanks, said hi to her, in the spare room, room. stood there, while I'm, and I just went to sleep for an hour or two. Yeah. Exactly, literally friendship goals. Um, but yeah, thank you to her. I'll talk more about the beautiful uh, in a bit. But yeah, check her out. There'll be the link down to her vlog as well, obviously she's got as well. But see you in a bit. Bye! Okay, so I'm back in my room now, guys. Um, it's about midnight, 20 past midnight, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to talk about the show a little bit more because I loved it so, so much that I just feel like it requires a bit more chat. <laughs> Firstly, the bottles of water that they sell at the Oldridge Theatre are amazing. I just love the fact that they're very much themed to the theatre. Like, that's really cool. And obviously, at the moment, the theatre is very yellow because it's beautiful. Um, just thought it was really cool and it really helped me because it was so hot and this is the beautiful bag that I've got which I'm going to show you I think I'm going to talk about the show a bit first and then I'll show you the program and the magnet and stuff that we got and we kind of got on as well um so yeah Carol King the musical is so good um I think you would consider it a uh, jukebox musical because it pretty much is I mean it's songs of Carol King or songs in which Carol King was somehow involved in and I mean I was talking to Rukai about it like I don't I'm not completely sure but I think Beautiful might be my favourite jukebox musical of all time I don't know like I really like Jersey Boys Jersey Boys I think has always been one of my favourite jukebox musicals um, but, but Beautiful is up there like for sure and I'm not normally a big fan of jukebox musicals but <laughs> You know, Jersey Boys is great. Mamma Mia is great. I love Mamma Mia, even though I know it's a really bad show. Like, the story is ridiculous. I just enjoy it. But Beautiful, I feel like, is actually a good show. And I'm not just enjoying it because of the music, but, like, the show and the story is very good as well. Um, I'm going to show you the programme, actually, now, because it's a really good programme. I can't actually remember how much it was, but look at the size of it. They've got, like, one programme situation uh, rather than two, which I really like. And it's got a picture of Cassie Jansen, obviously, as Carol King on the front. Um, oh, she was phenomenal. Again, I was talking to Rukaya about uh, the show after it finished, and one of the first things I said after Act Two was that I prefer Cassidy Jansen's portrayal of Carol King to Katie Bryden's. Um, I think it's, that was her surname. If I got it wrong, I'm really sorry. Also, I sound a bit tired. It's been a long day. Good day, but a long day, um, and it's been hot. But um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure. Like, in fact, I can say this like 100% guarantee. I guarantee that if um, Cassidy Jansen had been in Beautiful, the Carol King musical, from the start when it first opened in London, she would have got the Olivia. Like, she definitely would have got it because her performance is like equally as good as Katie Bryden's if not better like for me it was actually better than Katie's performance she just had something extra that Katie lacked I think I mean Katie was phenomenal but Cassidy was just that little bit better like a that little bit more charismatic she's very likable I mean um let's just talk about Cassidy Jansen very briefly anyway and my history with her um I first saw her in um 2010 as I said earlier in the vlog in um Avenue Q the musical when it was at the Wyndham's theatre and uh, she was in the final cast of it in the West End. She played uh, Kate Monster and like Lucy the Slut. If you've seen the show, you know who they are. Um, basically the lead kind of lady um, in that show. And she was brilliant. Like she was phenomenal. She was hilarious. Um, nobody could do it like she did. She was just so good for that part. But that's like seven years ago. And then I saw her in Lend Me a Tenor a couple of times. She was great in that. And I, I don't think I've ever I've seen her, you know, I don't, I don't think I saw her much since 2011 until now. I'm sure she has done stuff. Uh, obviously she's been in Beautiful for a few years. Um, but I don't think, I think Lenny Atena was the last thing I saw her in. I might be wrong. But I also went to one of her concerts back in 2010. She did like a, a very small, kind of, very kind of intimate um, jazz type concert in a very small kind of pizza restaurant venue. It was at the Pe Pheasantry? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember, but it was a really great concert. So I've seen her in quite a few things. I mean, I saw her many times in Avenue Q because I was obsessed with that show. And uh, it's just incredible to see her again on, on the West End and see her as a leading lady and see her do something phenomenal. Like, I, I just think this, this musical, you know, Beautiful, it's such a good musical because it obviously Carol King's character is amazing and for actors to be or actresses to be able to play the part it's such an amazing thing because it's such a great role I um, mean Cassidy Janet you have to be incredibly talented to be able to play this part and Cassidy obviously is talented she's very likeable she's um, very you know like captivating you just how you just want to watch her when she's on stage and she shows the journey of Carol King so well from young like being a very young person to you know getting older and stuff and everything that she goes through I don't want to give anything away but but 
oh my god she you just really go on the journey with her and i this is like one thing i didn't get as much i don't remember from katie um and she is just like her facial expressions everything she has this ability to like make you feel everything she's feeling just like with a little um change in the way she looks at something or like a little eye movement she's just a really phenomenal actress and of course she's got an amazing voice as well so i'm just like distracted by the things next to my bed a bit of a mess just ignore it but yeah she is fantastic and um i'm just really happy to have seen her in this she really her performance was in a league of its own it really was everyone was amazing tonight but she was just wow really really good it just makes me happy and if you guys didn't know cassie jansen actually used to be in wicked the musical um uh, you know back in the beginning i think i think in back in like 2008 or 7 or 9 she was uh, i believe the standby i never saw her in it but you know i can imagine she would have been incredible in that as well she's got an incredible voice she's just such a likable person i've i mean i've talked about her enough but she is fantastic please go and see the show if you've seen it before with like katie and you feel like you don't need to see it again um go and see it again because she is phenomenal she's worth the admission price alone i thought it might be fun to have a little flick through the program together guys so this is obviously the old witch theater um this these are some pictures of actual carol king like herself the real carol king if you like which is interesting the sets are so cool in this musical by the way he was also very good uh, first time seeing him in this show matthew um look at that some great photos here look at Casty jansen this is a really good program guys we're looking at this at the same time like it's my first time looking at it as well um look at this it's beautiful and oh my god guys the songs in this show are phen phenomenal like i just oh my god the music is so great like you can see the musical numbers here and in act two and there are so many that like i mean the first time i saw this as well i i it was i felt the same there were so many songs i recognized that i didn't even know were like um, written by carol king or um kind of related to carol king's journey but yeah there you go he was really good. She, I mean, the whole cast, honestly, the whole cast was fantastic. Like, I cannot complain about anyone. So, yeah, there you go. Some more photos. Sorry about the noise outside. I live in London and there's, there's a Friday night, so there's craziness happening. But, um, yeah, this is basically it. Uh, there's a picture of uh, Cassidy here as well. So, I'd very, very quickly speak about some of the other cast members as well because they just deserve it. So, Matthew Steeden Young, I believe that's how you say his surname. I saw him in Billy Elliot uh, a couple of years ago. I think it was a few years ago. Um, obviously I've seen so many casts in Billy Elliot because I used to be obsessed with that show as well I still love the show obviously um, I think he was like understudy Tony and I'm def I've definitely seen him as Tony which is to, um, Billy's brother um, he plays the role of Jerry in this and uh, the last time I saw the show it wasn't him it was a different person I can't remember who but it was you know Matthew was great like Jerry's a very unlikable character as again me and Rakai were discussing in an interval you just you know you can't you just don't like him he just he's annoying but um he played him really well. Great voice, great acting, loved him, very convincing. And then Lorna Wunt, who I don't think I've actually seen anything before, but she won um, an Olivia Award in 2015 for Best Actress in a Supporting Role in a Musical for a portrayal of Cynthia Wilde, which is what she plays um, right now, like in the show. She was brilliant as well, fantastic, hilarious, loved her. And then Ian McIntosh, who is here can you see him anyway i knew i'd seen him before i'm pretty sure ian mcintosh has been in the cast since the beginning of uh, beautiful because i'm pretty sure last time i saw him saw the show or the other the only other time i saw the show i saw him as well um i might be wrong so feel free to correct me guys but um yeah ian mcintosh was playing the role of barry uh he was great as well love him so like, he, i think he's just a brilliant performer generally and i've seen him in a few shows before like um rock of ages and the commitment so you know I've, I've seen him in, in other stuff um but i think this is probably one of the highlights of his career i would say i, I just think it's really good in the part so yeah the whole cast was great though i wish i could go through everyone but um i can't because this vlog is already long also sorry about the vlog being all over the place in the beginning it was a bit of a crazy situation like we went for dinner first and then i rushed to my workplace the royal opera house to do that business for my friend's birthday and then I rushed to the theatre and then it was hot and then I tried to give my friend Rukai, obviously Rukai who was with me, her birthday present and then we had to go to the... It was just, it's been a mess of a day but an amazing day, like a good, it's been a very good day. I've loved today, I'm very tired but I, I've loved it so much. So, that is the end of the vlog I think. I'm just going to show you the magnet as well very quickly actually before I forget. So, I got myself a magnet. I got Rukai a magnet as well because it was her birthday a few um, days ago. But also Kirin. Because I just really enjoyed the show today. Like, I'm going to genuinely try and go back. I probably won't get a chance, to be honest, because it's, it's closing in a few weeks. And I, I work most evenings. But I'm going to try my best to go back. So, this is the magnet. And uh, 
I really like how it looks if it zooms, if it focuses, sorry. There you go, it's got some of the songs and stuff. And I'm like, honestly, guys, the music in this is excellent. Like, I love it. It's got some, like, all the songs are great. Even if you don't know some of the songs, you enjoy them because they're just such good songs, like classic songs. So that's the magnet. Can't wait to add it to our fridge. And then this is the keyring, which I think just says, oh, <laughs> you're beautiful as you feel, which is quite a cute little quote you probably cannot see this guys there you go um also i mean the show is very funny as well like i forgot how funny it was i think it's got a very good script like there are some great lines in there one line that really made me laugh today was i actually wrote it on my hand because i didn't want to forget it <laughs> i think it's something like um love is the basis of so much hate or something like that which i just thought is hilarious because you know the more you love someone it's kind of like avenue q the more you want to kill them the more you hate them. I just thought it was hilarious. But obviously there are so many other great quotes in the show as well. It's just a great script. So something I paid attention to a bit more today. And the sets are great. And the costumes are great. The ensemble's are great. Um, it's just a show full of heart. Like it's... Yeah, it's got a lot of heart. It just makes you feel happy. And also a lot of joy. Like it gives you happiness and joy. And um, yeah. And the music is fabulous as well. So really what else can you want from a musical that's not even like an original musical like Minnie's the Duke's Box, Duke Box musical so you know it's definitely one of the best mu um, Duke Box musicals out there and I'm glad that it's at least going on a UK tour like it's not ending completely I'm really glad I got to see it again I, I just enjoyed myself so much even though it was really hot I enjoyed it. I'm gonna stop talking guys <laughs> this is a long vlog guys thank you so much for watching I really need to just um I don't know go inside some go inside a massive like cold pool of water that did not make sense. This is why I need to stop the vlog. Thank you for watching. It's the bad angle. Thank you to Rukai for a great day. Um, it was really good to see Charlotte as well, by the way. Like, it's such a random situation. You obviously heard that story. Um, really lovely to see her. Uh, I'll link her and Rukai's channels down below. Go and check them out. They're both fantastic people. Also, I'll try and remember to link my vlog. I think I did a vlog the first time I saw Beautiful with Matt. And I might have done a review as well. So if I can remember from like 2014, I'll link those as well. So you can go check them out if you want to. But yeah, leave comments down below if you've seen the show or if you have any other questions or if you want to go and see it. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!